So, I've got this inch and a quarter, or sorry, um, 0.965 um, diagonal that came with this uh, telescope that I bought for 20 bucks. An old school scope um, refractor. I made the uh, solar filter for it. And um, so now the problem is the eyepieces that came with it are like tiny, tiny, tiny. This is a two and a half millimeter focal length. And I think the other one is a four millimeter focal length. So either one of those is just too short in order to actually see the full sun inside of the viewfinder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to repurpose um, the focuser I took off of, well, one of the focusers I, that I taken off of my other scopes. So there's probably, um, prob this came off of the free scope, I think, and it's a fairly nice focuser. Um, I'm gonna repurpose that by milling out a, uh, some aluminum an aluminum adapter plate and then um, bore out the center so that uh, so that when I mount this guy onto it it um, and then I'll black I'll mount this guy onto the plate so it will basically replace this and then uh, if I can do it in such a way that it's all non-destructive that would be ideal um, I'll see if I can accomplish that I think that there should be enough room to, to mount it onto an adapter plate, but we'll see what happens there when we get over to the lathe. Okay, yeah, it's as sketchy as it looks. I'm gonna have to watch out for my knuckles. Um, the closest I could get it is to within, um, what is that, 20, 22 thou. Um, uh, so I'll turn it down to uh, diameter and then I'll part off um, a chunk of it, and that will become the adapter plate that fits into the into the tube. And then um, I'll bore out. Well, I probably drill just drill that out, and then tap the uh, the scope, uh, tap the adapter plate for the other um, focuser, and then we'll cover it up with uh, some tape to keep the light out. And hopefully that will work just fine. Okay, we want to get down to 2.3, well, let's call it 8. 2.380, and we're up at 2.380. Now, I'm not getting the uh, micrometers out because you don't need that accuracy, and we're at 
so we need to come down a tenth in diameter so that is um, five hundredths in radius. Okay, let's take a finishing cut. So there it is, <clears throat> finished. I just need to um, mark some holes on the uh, telescope, uh, for, mark some holes from the telescope, then drill and tap those for the mounting holes, and then um, also set the um, focuser on here and um, mark, drill, and tap the holes that will mount the focuser onto that. So there we, there we go, it doesn't have to be a super tight fit because that's going to be screwed down with the uh, the hole the the uh, mounting holes but it fits in fairly nice it doesn't flop around too much and here is the focuser that's going to sit on top of there and I just need to uh, drill some holes uh, mark drill and tap some mounting holes for those probably use like M3 or M4 
think it's M4s that fit through there. Um, and notice also that this thing has a, um, a mount for a, uh, a, pro uh, a bar that we can mount um, for a projection if we need to. So, yeah, I think that'll work. So, the solution to the centering problem is to wrap some tape around the draw tube so that it increases the diameter so the diameter matches the, um, the adapter and then um, I'll push this down and then I can mark relatively accurately uh, where, to, um, where, to place the, uh, where to place the screws. Okay, so there it is mounted up onto the adapter and so that guy is just going to drop into there like that and so I just have to see do these line up roughly yeah so I just have to mount that onto there and then I'll cover that up with some foam or something like that for um, the sake of contrast although for solar viewing you probably don't need to be worried too much about contrast but there we have it and, uh, huh, so yeah, well, hope, hopefully that works.